Mega Box here. Today I want to go through the best players in Madden 21 at the respective positions. Now, if I did a top five, it'd be a little bit long, so I'm gonna do one and done. Maybe down the road we do top five if people want it. Let me know. Uh, theme team rankings will probably do coming up, but a lot of the top players are gonna be on my team, so you're seeing a lot of them in action here. Obviously, there's a few that are like, you know, basically scheme fits, or I like him better, like Minka. He's a stealer, so he's there with a the deep out elite, but Let's go to an easy way of sorting them on El Mutete. All right, position. Let's do quarterback first. All right. I think there are only two quarterbacks worth a damn in this game, Dan Marino and Lamar Jackson for the respective categories. Dan Marino with a set feet lead, which is awesome, and Lamar Jackson, which, ha which has legs, which is even awesomer, right? That's cool. Dan Marino's cool, but Lamar Jackson's a different level, right? Containing Lamar Jackson, it's, it's, it's a problem. Luckily, contains were buffed a little bit, um, a little bit easier, but still... I mean, they can just scramble up the middle now, right? Lamar's got so many exit opportunities. He's basically a, I don't know, a fucking Batman against like five thugs, right? He's just, he's just out of there easily. Wait, 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 wait. Sponsor. Rock bottom coins is the number one place to get We're not talking about. We're not talking about that mistake. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. Yeah, and I appreciate you guys tweet me and stuff that you're uh, getting your coins, selling your coins and stuff to them too. Uh, over at Rock Bottom, I like to see it buying from them and uh, so on and so forth. So, Lamar Jackson, I believe, by far and away is the best quarterback in the game right now. Um, and it's going to be hard to beat him outside of like a Michael Vick upgrade or a Michael Vick card coming to that. Halfback. Now, these ones are pretty similarly priced. You know, Bo Jackson, you want to go this one and just pile him up to get to this level. But I think by far and away, my favorite one's Barry Sanders. He just feels a lot better. Trucking isn't that good this year in my experience. I don't know if you guys have seen my second channel at all. But uh, Bo Jackson, I try to make him truck. I got like one good truck out of, uh, I don't know, 10 attempts in the uh, clips of him. I did like a review over there in the second channel. So if you missed reviews, I'm doing a couple reviews in the second channel. But a lot of gameplays too. Um, so... Fullback, who gives a fuck? Is this a real position anymore? Um, I don't think so. I saw a, a pretty interesting post on the subreddit about making it into like a flex position for guys like uh, um, Taysom Hill and so on and so forth. And I think that's fine. I think that's a good idea. But like then EA would have to like update the coding and we know they're freaking lazy and I am for it. All right, wide receiver. There's a lot of options here. Uh, wide receiver is an interesting spot that I don't think the most expensive isn't the best, right? Oftentimes they correlate because the market demands a card is so what, but like if the supply is high, then he's low. But by far and away, my favorite is Ty. Whoa! Nope! Nope! Clay Bay. Mike, Mark Clayton's the best receiver powered up in the game. His power is 105k, insane. Uh, because he's basically the same stats as Tyreek Hill. You gotta get him to 90 deep route running. Without 90 deep route running, he's not. But with 90 deep route running, you could torch man with both Tyreek and Clayton. So they're pretty similar. Truthfully, you know, you could say Tyreek's the best too, and I wouldn't have a problem with you either. It's either one. If you need a slot apprentice, Drew Bennett's good powered up. Uh, but yeah, Tyreek Hill, Mark Clayton, best two receivers in the game, and I don't even think it's close because they're the only two that I've noticed. Jerry Rice can technically get to 90 deep route running too with enough go deeps. But uh, he doesn't have the speed of the other two. Um, so Tyreek Hill, Clayton are the basically tied. If I had to pick one, if you forced me to pick one, I'd be Tyreek, I guess. Number one tight end, in my opinion, is Drew Michael Finley because he gets tight end apprentice. That's just a powerful ability. Gronkowski's too slow, in my opinion. He's got better run block. Gronk does at 78, but... I just think the ability for Finley with 83 speed to get open on the corner routes, post patterns, crossers against man is just too good not to kind of mention. Obviously, if you're run first, Heath Miller and his run blocks, okay. Uh, George Kittle might be a little bit better due to a little bit more speed on that similar thing. But otherwise, Gronk um, is not a bad choice either for the best in the game. Offensive lineman, I like, dog, it doesn't, these things don't matter. Get, like, edge protector tackles, I think, matter. Like, Phil Lodeholt, Joe Thomas, get edge protector. But otherwise, I mean, if you want to go with something like, you know, a lead block ability, yeah, sure. Jahari Evans with his nasty streak. Put him out on a screen or that screen uh, ability. He's fine, right? Larry Allen's okay. But uh, really, it's just it's just edge protector, and then everybody's basically playing the same. So offensive lineman, not even a rated by position. All right, defensive end. Who's the best defensive end in the game? Now, it's weird because some of these are more like 3-4, some of them are 4-3. Uh, pass rushers. I think it's really close in my mind. Seymour's good. Garrett's good. 
Justin Smith is great. Aaron Donald just wrecks my life. I don't understand. I'm going to go with Aaron Donald. Justin Smith, an edge protector, has been like the best player in my defense. But there's been no there's been no card that I've noticed on the opponent's defensive line more than Aaron Donald so far. I don't, I don't get why. He doesn't even get edge threat, right? He doesn't even get it. And he still gets me. I don't like it, right? Usually, I like it when people get me, but not when it's Aaron Donald chasing my quarterback. So I'm going to go with Aaron Donald at number one, even above what I thought going into it would have been Justin Smith because of how good he's been for me and the absolute dominations he's had so Aaron Donald number one just it's like 1a 1b but there's definitely I feel like Aaron Donald's there best defensive tackle this one's a little closer um I would say Merlin Olsen inside you can get inside stuff on like a Koye I think you can get it on Glover I believe maybe inside stuff um but I like Merlin right now there's nothing really here that really stands out in my mind nobody's really like made a lot of plays against me that I'm like wow definitely that guy uh, but yeah, this Okoye powered up and then said stuff's been a problem against me. But yeah, nothing nothing to like, I don't really have a, a, a good feeling about defense tackles. Outside linebackers, best outside linebackers in my mind right now, I don't really have one, right? I, like Adelius Thomas due to the combination of speed and uh, pass rush ability. Bobby Bell hasn't stood out at all and you'd rather have a safety as a drop linebacker if you're going to go to like a nickel package. Uh, so like these, I, I've run with like almost all of these cards and I really haven't had many of these stand out for me. So if you're going to ask me to pick out one, I think I'm going to go with the Daly's Thomas, a Daly's Thomas due to speed and, and edge threat ability for a pass rusher. Because like if you're using linebackers outside of like Sam Mills, right outside of him as a coverage linebacker, you're doing something wrong because they just don't play as well as safeties that like these linebackers don't get jumps, but safeties do now safeties. If you saw them in at uh, linebacker spots this year. Edmonds, Simmons, they both get jump picks. Linebackers don't. You do not want to be using linebackers. So I don't know why they changed that from last year, but it's definitely something I've noticed so far. Best middle linebacker, I don't even think it's close. It's the Mutt Master. Seau's, eh. Uh, I've used them. I've been a little disappointed even in coverage. I just, I don't like them. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely by far Mutt Master. I'm not even going to show stats powered up uh, because, you know, that would take effort and I'm not an effort guy. So number one, CB. This is an interesting one. Obviously, there are CB like for some reason they made Rod Woodson a slot CB. He didn't really play the slot in Pittsburgh. Uh, Asante Samuel. Uh, I would say other choice would be Dre Bly for like for value. It'd be the team builder Wayans and team builder. Oh, and his name's on the tip of my tongue. Oh crud. Eighty four. Let's go eighty four. Names on the tip of my tongue. Terrell. 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 AJ Terrell and Trey Waynes for value. I would say those are the best two in the game. The best overall, though, which is the, the point of this video, I'm going to go with Asante Samuel. He's had, he, Dre Blythe's been pretty good for me, but I'm going to go with Asante Samuel's made the most plays on my defense. Rod Woodson, he's been really good for me. He's been he's made some plays, but I had Asante longer. I don't know. If I were to choose between these two, I'm... Dog, I might go back to Rod. It's definitely a 1A, 1B situation between these two for me, too. But yeah, Trey Waynes and Terrell have been phenomenal also. I, just, I think I'm going to stick with Asante. I feel like he's made the most interceptions for me. All right, free safety. We'll do free safety first. Best free safety in the game. Dude, Ronnie Lott's like stood out against me. I don't get it. He's done really well. I actually don't really like a lot of these free safeties. You can argue Grant Delpit's pretty solid because of his height and speed. Being six foot three there. Um, Minka is what I use because I'm a Steeler slut and he gets deep out elite, which I've been, or what a deep out zone, whatever it is. I'm playing like a cover two, cover three type system with him, uh, where he's on an outside third or outside half. He's done pretty good for me. He's got me a couple turnovers, interception. I think he forced a fumble too and picked it up and ran for six. That was kind of hot. Uh, but I guess the number one, like, I don't just, don't, I don't really like Atwater. I don't know. Atwater just hasn't done it for me. So I'm going to skip that position and just give it to two strong safeties. My favorite one, Isaiah Simmons is the best user in the game. Potentially the most powerful card in the game because of the animations he gets. And then Tyron Matthew because you can summon that linebacker and crossman him. He like erases receivers sometimes. I really like this Tyron Matthew card. So I'll put like, sub, they're both sub linebackers though, right? Adrian Wilson's been phenomenal. It's too bad like all the best safeties are at strong safety. So like, the power level of free safety is super underpowered this year. Maybe they'll put ex they actually put like Ed Reed there this year, which is like his rightful position instead of strong safety, like they've done in the past. But 
My number one would be Isaiah Simmons. My number two strong safety would be Tyron. Easy to go the highest two overalls. But otherwise, this guy plays above his overall. Uh, Adrian Wilson plays above his overall. You can power Adrian Wilson up to 90, though. That might be that might be pretty nice for you uh, to get him out there. So those are the best ones. But number one would be Isaiah Simmons. All right, and then kicker, punter. Are these actually football players who actually rate these things? Uh, Morton Anderson, because he gets the slow kicking ability. And then punter, whoever the hell you pull out of a pack randomly. Don't punt, dudes. Actually, I do punt this year. But that's it for the video. What do you guys think? Best players in the game? Agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.